Just when you think this vicious president can't get lower. Just when you think this gang has done all the damage it can do. Just when you think you've seen everything that could be done by an illegitimate presidency, something new happens to literally stop your heart. Welcome to the Savage Nation. The headline is a shock. Just before showtime, we learned, and you're not going to believe this, that Obama is willing to crucify a sitting U.S. senator from his own party simply because the senator disagreed with him on Iran getting nuclear weapons. Let me repeat that. This has to be the most vicious fanatic in the history of the presidency. He is willing to crucify a Democrat senator simply because the senator disagreed with him on Iran getting nukes. Now, he's not going to prosecute Senator Menendez for disagreeing with him. That would be too overt. That would be too much like the Soviet Union. Instead, what they've done is they've held over his head for quite a while now some charges of him accepting illegal campaign donations. And there's no question they held it over his head to keep him in line. But back in January of this year, Senator Menendez didn't agree with President Zero. I want you to listen to what Senator Menendez said about President Zero's view on Iran on January 2015. The more I hear from the administration and its quotes, uh, the more it sounds like talking points that come straight out of Tehran. And it feeds to the Iranian narrative of victimization uh, when they are the ones with original sin. That's Senator Menendez, a Democrat, a liberal Democrat from New Jersey, who simply disagreed with the president in Iran. And so for several years now, the feds have been hanging over his head some corruption charges. They haven't gone after him until now. So why would Eric Holder, one of the gang, prepare a criminal corruption complaint against Senator Bob Menendez and drop it on him right now? Tell me why Barack Obama uh, would suddenly do this. It's to punish him because he led on to the fact that Obama's selling Israel and America down the river with Iran. But, you know, this proves a bigger point, and I want you to follow the bouncing ball. This proves that Obama was blackmailing Menendez all along. Let me repeat that. They held the charges over his head since 2010. Investigators have focused in part on plane trips Menendez took in 2010 to the Dominican Republic as a guest of an individual. And in 2013, after word of the federal investigation became public, Menendez paid back the donor $58,000 for the 2010 plane trips, calling his failure to properly disclose the flights and oversight. How many other senators fly on planes that they don't own? How many times has Nancy Pelosi flown on the Google jet? Do you know anything about that? Do you know anything about the wedding? Do you know anything about the Pelosi wedding party that flew up to the wedding grounds on the Google jet? Same thing. Did she pay them back? Maybe she did. I could be mistaken. But in this case, them Senator Menendez did something like this. It's actually a very minor crime compared to what the other Democrats are doing. And interestingly enough, Menendez is one of the highest ranking Hispanic members of Congress. He is a former chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He has become one of the president's most vocal opponents on two key foreign policy matters. President Zero's decision to ease the trade embargo against the prison island of Cuba and President Zero's desire to give Iran the ability to develop a nuclear weapon under the guise of you know what, whatever the latest uh, flavor is of lying. And so they went after him today, and it proves, in my thinking, that Obama was blackmailing Menendez all along, probably telling him, look, man, you stay in line or we're going to drop the hammer on you. But Menendez apparently has a, a, a strong belief in these things, and he said what he thought. So that leads us to the next question today on the Savage Nation radio program. Who else is this gang blackmailing? Who else is Obama and the sorority blackmailing right now, which would explain the behavior of an awful lot of them. It might explain why Boehner is biting his lip behind Pelosi's wig. Who else are they blackmailing? It might explain some decisions going back to Obamacare and the shock decision 
on the Supreme Court. There are rumors running about that Roberts has been blackmailed for a number of years. Remember that? Anyone remember that little story? Of course, we're just talking here. I mean, aren't we just talking here? We don't know for sure. We're just a small fry here in the world. We have no power. We have no influence. We have no uh, connection to anything. But we, the people, do have one thing going for us. You know what that is? Common sense. And common sense has not yet been outlawed by this illegitimate regime. So now we see this, the most vicious fanatic in the history of the presidency, willing to crucify a Democrat liberal senator simply because this senator stepped out of line with him on Iran getting nukes. This proves that Obama was blackmailing Menendez all the time. Now who else is this administration blackmailing? It's frightening to, to listen to this.